I'm out for a hike this morning. Went for a really nice walk. It's shaping up to be a beautiful day. And I'm backtracking now. I'm going to set up my easel to do some plein air painting. There's a couple of scenes I'm interested in. This one right behind me has that really cool rock and tree. And there's also another spot just across this, this uh, river here that I want to check out. It's kind of a secret little gem that I've painted here a lot and even I missed it. And then been coming here for a couple of years and then last year I was like, holy cow, look at this little tree. It's, it's not what you would expect here amongst all of these white pines, but I think it's a little gem. So I'm going to do a quick setup, paint the scene in front of me. Here, I'll show you. And then I'm going to move across the waterway here and I'm going to set up and paint this character tree that I've had my eye on. <laughs> Change of plans. I guess it's plein air painter's prerogative, but I started to set up and it was really, really sunny. And I thought, you know what? I've uh, painted this direction a couple of different times. I'm going to move into a different position. Same tree, same general area. You know, just try it from a new perspective. Don't ever get into an area and plant your easel, plant your tripod. Walk around and test out some different scenes and you might come up with something new and fresh and that's exciting. That's why we get out here and plant our paint. Yeah, same tree, just a different perspective, different direction and bonus, I get to stand here in the shade. So I'm taking a step back to look at my painting, what I've done so far, and honestly, I think this is the scary point in a painting. Uh, I Basically, I consider this part a sketch. You know, there's no values here, it's just the general impression of the area. And I like some of the marks that have happened, uh, you know, with these washes and blooms. Some folks don't like that in watercolor. I think that is the joy of watercolor, how spontaneous of a medium it can be. Just embrace this stage of the painting. This is why I will always bring a second block of paper into the field. And I tend to, when a painting's at this stage, I tend to put it to the side for a bit pull out that second block and get another painting done. And by the time you come back, this is settled a bit, it's dry. And then what you want to look for is the values and start putting in not more detail, but think of it as, you know, shapes that stand up out to you, get those values in. Um, I am really good at dabbling a painting to death. So I'm, definitely a painter that needs to leave a painting alone when it gets to a certain point. So yes, bring two blocks of paper into the field, put your painting aside at this stage and push on to another painting or sketch.
So I spent a little bit longer in this location. The second painting that I ended up with, I was pretty happy with. I'm happy with both paintings. However, this one had more of the mark making and uh, some of the details that I think makes this a successful study. So I'm going to pack up and head over to the other side. So I'm all set up on the other side. You can see the beautiful white pines back there, the water. And I'm going to show you this character tree that I consider such a gem. When I tell you I've painted here so many times and I never saw this guy because I was always looking at the big white pines. But let's take a look at that fella right there. What beautiful shape. It's curving down over the water. The roots go all the way back here. I can't wait to get in a good study today, maybe a sketch. It's important to look around in your location, find something new, find something cool, revisit it many times. And, you know, I think this will be a long relationship with this specific tree. I've run out of time in this location. I did get a couple of studies or sketches on the blocks here. I will go home, put them up on my wall, think about them for a little bit. And then next time I come to this location, I will have a plan in mind. I can't wait to get back, but that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.